PA comes in. She has no rapier. Still does a lot of damage. If she wants rapier, she can have them, though, because there's one there. One here. One here. One here. Two on Marana. One on the ground here. And then one in the trees over here if I can find it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Herald Review. This is going to be another two-hour-long replay with 230 kills. Uh, there's guys with 40 kills, there's guys with, uh, 30 deaths, tons of people with 40 assists, it's SEA server, easy win, he says. E enemy idiots, one hand only. <laughs> I like this guy, bro, he's got a jungle huskard, he's still saying, I'm gonna play with one hand. I wonder what he's doing with the other hand, that's the real question here. How's our jungle huskar doing? He's still level 1 at 2 minutes. Holy shit, he started burning spear. I see. That's kind of... <laughs> okay. This should not happen. This should not happen. So they go for a play on the PL. He's got a lot of armor. Sardar also does, but he's eating shit on the tower. And he just... Yeah, he just died to himself. Yeah, these guys are just sharing CS up here too. So it looks like both off lanes are just... Mode sharing is caring. Uh, Alright, same scenario... Guy runs into tower and starts getting hit by it, then dies. That appears to be a, uh, a common thread in this game. I'm witnessing a Herald Sand King pick up smokes with the blink. Uh, it looks like he literally doesn't need them, because the gyro sees that he has a blink and then just walks into the mid lane anyway. Dude? He's actually the highest net worth, almost. Like, other than the Sand King who's owning, and who's gotten every CS on the mid lane because he's cutting here. He's actually the second highest net worth, and he's just been jungling. I feel- dude, I feel like I say this every single fucking time I watch a Herald replay, but there's a 7k gold lead, and this goes for two hours. There's a 7k gold lead at 15 minutes. Like, let's look at the Dota Plus win percentage. There is a 95% chance that Radiant wins. They had a jungle Huskar in a Battle Fury position for PA, and a 7k gold lead at 15 minutes. And they've they've a 95% chance that they win. And this goes for two hours. My god. What where does the throw happen? Cause this looks fine. This looks more than fine. Dude, this might be going up towards a hundred percent win rate, bro. Yeah, this guy's dead now too. Alright, arrow connects. PA should be dead. Yep, yep. I don't feel like they can kill the Huskar. Yeah, yeah. He killed them both there. Um, he also has a Halberd, so he might be able to take down this Ursa as well. I think there's going to be a triple kill. 1v3 triple kill. Yeah. We'll check that graph again. 98%. I see. Oh, 1v3 ultra kill. Yeah, he's godlike, and that's an ultra kill. We'll check that graph again. 98% still, and it is going up. Very good. Enemy noobs, he says. Not quite a rampage. Not yet. Oh, my god. How the fuck do you guys throw on Radiant? I don't understand. This gyro's fucking dead. He's so dead. Husk dude. Huskar's 25! He's level fucking 25, dude! At 24 minutes! Jesus Christ! He left the Ag Shard on the ground. Okay, now he's gonna cancel that to pick it up. He, he did not want Sand King to get that. Dude, what are you doing? What is going on with you? Please tell me this is not fucking fried your circuits, bro. It's just an Ag Shard. What's happening here? What? <laughs> Wait, this this motherfucker just went AFK for two minutes. It did two minutes off his age. I can tell you exactly how long it took because his age just has three minutes left, bro. All right, so they go to take the tower. They get it. Gyro TP's in from right there, which uh, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. I see. It's a rapier. I was worried that that was going to be... Uh, what was... Yeah. 
<laughs> All you needed to do was not this. All you needed to do was not buy a rapier. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say he pretty quickly loses this. So no steel comes out here. Uh, Huskar already has an egg. Takes the Aghanim Scepter anyway. Says, fuck you, team. PL really wants it. Come on, dude. Come on, give him the eggs. Uh, <laughs> he consumed it. Wait, 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 wait. He consumed his eggs. And then backpacked the eggs blessing. And he's still not giving it away. <laughs> okay, dude. He's like wondering where his eggs went. Goes to the secret shop. I don't know what he's shopping for, but he sells the Quelling Blade, can't buy anything. And he just gets arrowed. Uh, and then there goes the Rapier. So Marana is literally full HP. Let's see how much damage this does. So the F Blade into ult. Takes him to 260. And then the Nuke... Kills him. So... That's a one shot with just nukes. There are five people pre-muted in this game, which means they all have less than 3,000 behavior score. So this is a very low behavior score game that we're looking at. Very nice. Uh, Huskar did a one-shot mid, so I want to see how that looked. <laughs> My god! He has ult. He has another ult. One second before Gyro had BKB. What? Why? Waiting for somebody to one shot. I think he's waiting for somebody to one shot. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna leave the rapier. Oh, we noticed the rapier. All right, very good. Uh, I don't think Sand King wanted to pick that up, but he did anyway. He's chanting it at this point. Oh, come on. No. No, he just wants the eggs blessing. No. Oh, my God. He can't get a fucking eggs blessing to save his life, bro. Why? Why did he choose not to put the seer stone there, too? What are the choices being made by this man, and why are they inconsistent even with himself? I don't understand. He's like a fucking a pseudo RNG bot. Like he's just making choices randomly. I think I just saw a different item. No, that is. <laughs> why? Huskar's in the triangle at at 70 minutes with 21,000 net worth. He is farming ancient still. That's really, definitely something that I would expect there. He's killing the gyro slowly but surely. That's very pathetic, and I'd feel really bad if I died like that. 1600 gold, dude. Not that it matters. He's got 27,000 of that. Gyro buys back. That's what happened. I see. And then he instant buys back as well. Um, oh, no. Uh, Sanking blinks in with the rapier, runs into the tower... Legion duels Slardar and then dies. Sand King feeds the rapier. No detection on the enemy team. And he walks into the tower and dies with the rapier. Slardar gets it again. He's very excited about that. Uh, Gyro gets bored and goes to take the enemy shrine at 86 minutes. Just says fuck it and takes it while the PL is hitting him. Slowly walks away. He does have a basher. Uh, all right, so the PL, the PA walks up, and he buys the rapier, but the components are in his backpack. <laughs> look, at, look at him hovering over his inventory. Wait, wait, wait. He's like, wait, which one of these was that rapier that I bought? Oh, fuck, it must be, it must be in there. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I swear to God, Sven had an axe. Am I crazy? Sven had an eggs at some point. He was flying in. There's the rapier. Okay, surely somebody's gonna see the rapier now. They're fighting right directly in front of it. 
Uh, some duel comes out, Legion goes down. This dude, I don't even give a fuck about all of this. We would see the rapier. He sees it. He's like, what? But it's gonna be PA, so he can't use it. Yeah, he can't use it because nobody's picked it up before the PA. Well, I mean, what would you think? Wait, wait, wait. What is he doing? What are you what are you doing? What Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I'm so so confused. I'm so confused by this fucking game that you've linked to me. Why is this happening so much? With the the items high being hidden. You'd think that this is the game. There are four versus one alive right now. Five versus one. Ursa says, fuck this, I'm TPing in. Now the question is, can these two... With the refreshers and everything, we're gonna need to get a lot of one shots coming out here. Marana and Sven are not there. So there's one one shot. Very nice. He's got the refresher. Uh, looks like he's being greedy actually, and he's waiting for the cooldowns. Three man burrow. Very nice from Sand King. Allows the PA to jump out. The gem is on the deck, so they can't see the Sand King right now. Another one shot comes out. He has the refresher, so they can do it again. If he wants, he's also he's gonna, gonna keep being greedy. Both rapiers drop on the deck. Uh, one of these is not PA's, because PA has the rapier over there in the trees, but he still has two rapiers. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's dead. That's two rapiers on PA. Makes a lot of sense. He's gonna man fight. Marana actually hits the arrow. PA goes down, loses two rapier. Sand King fucking flies away. Doesn't have the gem, so he can't see Sand King. Uh, leaves the other three items. Boots of Travel 2 dropped here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. He's got another Agnum's Blessing on the Huskar, man. Alright, he drops the two rapiers. Alright. So while that was happening, while that was happening, there was some crazy shit going on in the base. Look at this! What the fuck is this? Wait a minute, what, what, what's happening with these items? Dude, Verona's like having some fucking problems, bro. Okay, okay, well, let's see, let's see how this starts. Let's see how this starts. Okay, okay, okay. Fully slotted. He's got two ether lens recipes in, in his stash. Oh my god, dead courier, so he can't use the courier for this. S drops the boots of travel too, picks up the two ether lens recipes, drops one of the ether, drops both the ether lens recipes, sold the Mjolnir. Goes to buy the Mjolnir. The Mjolnir goes on the ground somehow. Or I don't know if he dropped that earlier. All of the Roshan shit is going on right now, by the way. The fighting. He goes to leave it. People ping it. They're like, dude, you've dropped like 20,000 gold of items. He leaps out. He's like, I gotta deal with the base first. And then I'll get back to this. Ursa drop... How did Ursa get Marana's energy boosters? Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused! I'm so confused! <laughs> oh, they're there! It's on the ground there for some reason. When did this happen? <laughs> it was Marana's. He was, he was confused here earlier. He was confused here earlier, bro. Oh my fucking god. Uh, slaughter TPs to the outpost. Sees that there are three bounty runes. No big deal. Picks up only two of them. Makes a lot of sense. Over here, Sand King, 1v2-ing. There are no sentries, no detection. Sven had to backpack the Observer Wards and sentries for the rapier. That's not his. So, probably... <laughs> I can't, I can't keep up. Where did this fucking rapier come from? That was the Huskar. Very nice. PA comes in. She has no rapier. Still does a lot of damage. If she wants rapier, she can have them, though, because there's one there, one here, one here, one here, two on Marana, one on the ground here, and then one in the trees over here if I can find it. This might be the most spread that I've ever seen rapiers. How the fuck did this one get here? When, would they, when did this show up? He crits Ursa, and it does nothing, because everybody has so many items. PA dies, drops two rapiers. 
Legion dies, drops two rapiers. Somebody died over here, dropped a rapier. Sand King does not have a rapier. PL is saying, fuck this, I'm going throne, bitches. I'm done. Get me out of this game. Can he do it? Can he actually win the game here alone? Marana buys back. Actually, that was Gyro. Can't tell if that was a rage buyback or not. Drops the tactical nukes. And the throne survives just barely. Uh, the Marana was trying to push out the top lane for rapiers. Finds the PA, who bashes her, and then Abyssal Blades her. And before she can even realize there's somebody on top of her, she's dead. And there are four rapiers on the ground. But I'm not sure if the PA is even interested in these. This would mean that he would have five rapiers in Boots of Travel if he picks all of these up. He's very confused by what to do with these rapiers. Tanking bought two rapiers during that time. He drops two of them, so they're peace offerings. So he's offering more peace offerings to the enemy team who doesn't want them. They says, fuck you, you're the peace offering, you piece of shit, I'm gonna get you. And while this is happening, it was a distraction, the distraction rapier, PL! He tries, he almost gets the throne, but he can't do it, Legion goes in, he tries as well. 150 HP! Holy shit, they survive! I've never seen rapiers used so effectively. So they go down mid. Sand King buys back. The Dire just focuses on the throne, man. They just want out of this game. Sven pops the Satanic. Heals him to full HP. The throne is fully exposed now. There's no fortification. Can they do it? There's two heroes hitting the throne. They seem to be constantly fucking disarmed. Oh my god, they actually can't do it. There's six rapiers. PL goes on the other side. He's trying to do the same thing. It didn't work last time. Will it work this time? Sven buys back. He hits the PL. He gets baited, though. That wasn't the real PL. So the actual PL hits the throne, and he does take it. Oh, my fuck. Oh, it's better than sex. Oh, which I've never done, but it's still better than it from what I hear. Goblin D's nuts.